Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, y'all, after a lot of hard work, um, I think I'm about done with my craft room. I am comfortable with now showing you a complete room tour. I still have a few little piles to go through, but um, yeah, not too much. We've got it confined in a small little area here. So I am so excited, y'all. I've worked so hard. And here we go. Having a white desk opposed to a black one has absolutely changed the whole thing in here. It just brightened it up so much. Look at my craft space, y'all. I cannot wait until I can switch out my black chair. I'm probably going to get probably a white one. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. But look at this, y'all. This has turned out so pretty. I just love it so much. I am so excited. Okay, so here it is. You can see over here the bulletin board that I already had in my room. All I did was is I added washi tape trim around the trim, around the frame of the bulletin board. And you can see, I just used that kind of washi tape, put it all the way around, changed the whole appearance of this bulletin board. I added some paper. I took an envelope here and I cut it in half and I made a little pocket so I could put my stamps in it. Kept my sweet angel there. I have several angels that were given to me, but that one I kept hanging right there. I have several of them just around my house. But anyway, I did keep that one right there. Okay, so I did end up keeping this um, paper sorter right here. And it turned out okay just keeping it right there. Everything is all in there. I did not reorganize anything. Um, but yeah, I'm okay with that there. Got my six by six paper pads here, still in the basket that I used in before. And over here, this is the shelf that I took out of my other bedroom. I switched it for the from the black one to this beige one, and it really made a huge difference. All these are my 12 by 12 paper pads that I have. They're all sorted. And over here, these are like the smaller papers and a little bit let's see here i'll show you got my paper cutters here my wear memory keepers stuff here and i got my eight and a half by 11s over here okay see so if i can get this back in that one's heavy so on this shelf right here i was able to use this paper sorter i got this one at michael's it was like regular $49, but I got it half price. So what I did is I put my solid papers here, my 12 by 12s, got my copy paper over here. And that way I was able to take my, take my printer from being so high up and go ahead and just put it here where it's easier, easier and more accessible. And I just got some books over here and some of my favorite movies. There's one of my favorites right there, y'all. And I love Dolly Parton. And I've got my radio, and yes, it has stickers on it because the the words on there were so hard to read, see? And I'm like, I, I can't see it very well, so I had to label it, and I did a long time ago, but I'm okay with that. Got my Pray, Warm, Pray More, Worry Less sign. Got my DVD player, my cable box. Put my um, Cricut right here so it worked out great. I used it last night. I just pulled it out a little bit at the edge and it just worked out just wonderfully. So I'll be able just to keep it right there. And I had a bunch of different sayings in this pad that I have or this pack of, um, I don't know, they're kind of really hard card stocks. And this one says, if you can be anything, be kind. And I really think that that is just a wonderful saying. I love things that encourages you. And I just, I'm just, I just had to find that. Now this little frame here, I could show you. I got this in a Tuesday morning. See if I can take this off. It has like magnets on the top. So you can switch out your saying on it. Still got my TV, of course, in the same place. 
Got one of my letter boards over here and I got the little pink little banner trim. It came in a pack I got a long time ago at Tuesday morning. So I just had a little bit of it left and so I added it to the top and it decorated it up. Okay, so there's another one of my little flowers that I had up on the top in the banner. I didn't want to throw them away, so I used them again. And there's just some more of the little encouraging cards, that, like the one that I told you about being kind. That came out of the same pack. The frames, they came from Walmart. They were only like $1.96. And I still have my gold letter D up here that um, Sweet Robin had sent me before. So there is that. Over here above my TV, I had this sign, this little board, and it, it had the frame already on it. It had been in my closet and I needed something. You can, you can see my reflection, y'all. Yeah, I, you needed, I needed something to put up on the top up there. And so last night I used my Cricut and some pink um, vinyl and I just got vinyl to create on there. The hearts that I put above, just as little decorations, they actually um, came from Hobby Lobby. They were in the houseware or the decorative section, not the Valentine's, go figure. Okay, so making my way around, here's some more of my pictures, and let me see if I can get close. I know it's got a glare. This one also came from Hobby Lobby. It says, Let Your Happy Shine, and I loved it. It was bright and beautiful, and I just really, really loved it, and I thought that was a great place for it. Okay, so down here, I have put my, my cart, and I still have some things I have to sort through here. It's some, some projects I'm working on. I'll be keeping my paper cutters like there on the top. And I thought, I'm just gonna be able to just reel this around because I used to have like pencils and pens and scissors and stuff, but now I have these wonderful drawers, so I won't need it anymore for that. So I'm gonna use it for projects that I'm working on. Okay, so the first table, which of course, if you've seen my previous videos, I did get these tables at Ikea. I'll try to see if I can link everything below. Um, but I bought this table, and when I want to sew, I'm just going to move this out, put a little chair there, and I'll sew. Or I'll move it to the other end of my of the of my table. But this little, these are like little tea towels. I've got something laying there, y'all. Um, these were sent to me by by Twyla Chavez. She's all my crafties here on YouTube. But anyway, I thought what I would do is take both of them. I'm going to sew them together and quilt them and just make it like a sewing machine mat. I thought that would be super cute. Um, my Singer sewing machine, I've had it for four and a half years and I got it at Joann Fabrics and it's a workhorse. I just mainly kept over here just my scissors. I just put them in a coffee cup that I had in here and it worked out just great. Now, here is the curtains that I purchased. They were $4.96 a panel at Walmart, and if you see, I added some twinkle lights up here, but that's what they look like. If you can see, they have little flowers on them, and it's a little battery operated. I can flip it on and off. I don't have to worry about plugging them in or anything like that, and I'm going to show you the box of where I got those. The hello I left up there, and there's a little splash of one of those flowers again that I had saved from my banner I had made. So that's my curtains. Here's the little kit that I used for those lights. Um, this one came from Tuesday morning quite a little while ago. There's the skew if you're interested. But it came with the lights, the flowers, everything. All I did was pop the lights in and voila, I was done. So that is my sewing area. Just put over here my big cutter and uh, my batting and my trash can. Okay, so let's go over here. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to get my finger in the way, y'all. Over here, I have this pink lamp, and I have had this in my craft room a long time, but it was always tucked away. And now I'm overjoyed that I can have it down here. I got Flo over here sitting next to it, and she's just guarding the area, y'all. She's just looking, looking all pretty. You know, she really is. She just sits right up here where she belongs. I'm super happy, y'all. Okay, so let's go up the wall. 
I left my let your faith be bigger than your fear. My grandson actually gave me that, so I left it in the same spot. Over here, I changed my letters to eat, sleep, craft, and repeat. And still got my happy clamper over there. That's a little crooked to me. Are you guys like that where if something's crooked, you got to fix it right away? Okay, so here is my pegboard. I got this at Ikea. Y'all, it is absolutely wonderful. Mr. Crafty hung it for me. And as you see here, it came with these. Well, you had to buy them separately. But you have these little clips. And they just got the little hooks on the back. And they will just hook right in there. These little tray also pops off. And those little containers also pop off. So there you go, there is my pegboard. I'll try to link that below as well. But oh my goodness, y'all, I love this pegboard. At first I thought, am I gonna like this? I don't know, am I gonna like this? But I absolutely love it. Now you're seeing over here, you see my uh, light. I got that at Tuesday morning, like about two years ago. So I don't, you know, at Tuesday morning, they're kind of hit and miss. You never know if you're going to be able to catch something or not. But keep an eye out. I think we paid like $49 for it. Um, I can't link that one because they don't link anything from their site. But it is from, it, it is a not light. Okay, so going up the wall, the little trim that I have here, the stars, actually was left over from what I had up here. And I found these like little little banner decorations. I found them at Tuesday morning quite a long while ago when I had saved them and voila, there you go. Now what I'm most happy with is look at this happy place sign. It actually is the most cutest sign ever. It's about two, probably two and a half feet long. It looks a lot bigger um, in person than it does on the camera. But it is absolutely darling. I got it. It was like 30 something dollars, 35 maybe at Hobby Lobby, but I got it half price. So maybe, no, I think I paid $19.99, so it was $39. But it is so cute, and I thought it was so fitting. So here is my wall. Absolutely love it. Just simple, pretty, just, oh, just so inviting. It really, really is. Okay, so on my table, I had kept my my laminator over here. I keep I keep that right there to hold my cell phone from when I craft. And uh, I did I do have a tutorial for that if you're interested. I'll see if I can link it below. I'm gonna try to remember all these links, y'all. Okay, so let's get over here to the desk. It also came from IKEA, and it is 78, I believe, inches long. Let's see if I can move my chair out so you can see the whole thing. There it is. Oh my goodness. I keep that underneath my table because I put paper scraps in it. But here is my table. I am so excited. It's absolutely beautiful. It has brightened up my room. This table, my husband even came in and said, oh my goodness. He couldn't believe it. But look at this. So over here, I got these little bins, and there's two stacked there. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the other one. But I got them at um, Ikea. They were like $2.98. They were so good. Oh, my goodness. Um, got this carousel over here at Michael's a couple of years ago, and I know they still have them. Got my pink tape. Got my beautiful fuzzy pen. I love it. And my, and my flamingos. And these boxes, they don't have anything in them yet, but I'm going to keep them over here for like when I'm working on something, I could slip things in there. And I just thought they just made such beautiful decorations. They really, really did. Okay, so y'all, this is my wall. Look at that. How beautiful. I'm just so excited. Okay, so let's get to the drawers. I'm going to quickly show you a few things in my drawers of how I sorted things. I really purged a lot, y'all. I purged so much. Okay, so on the top one, I have all my thread. And I put all the sewing stuff close to where my sewing machine is. But look at all my thread. I was just overjoyed to throw. And these right here are like pins that I use whenever I sew. And the second one, 
I got my little my iron. I keep the little things to put the steam. Got my bobbins, and I've got this rope and my um, zippers. I had to think for a second, y'all. And over here, I have any kind of hardware, rings, anything like that. I put them in this like container here, and that way they could all stay back there in the back. And so, as you can see, it's kind of it goes pretty far back. These drawers are pretty long, so. And over here, I have my pom pom makers. I have some some velcros. And I've got more sewing stuff over here. Got the needles, the straight pins. And over here, I just put like patterns and stuff that I have and I put my magnet um, sheets right down there. So that's what I have in that drawer. It carried so much. I used to have plastic little pull up bins under my table. I ended up cleaning it all out, put in there. I gave them to my daughter. I asked her, do you want these? She says, yeah, I think I could use these, so. Okay, so over here to this one, the top drawer, I put like, just like scissors and things like that. I've got my stapler, my staples. I use this quite a bit, so I keep that out. I've got my Cricut scrapers or whatever those things are called. That's what's in there and here I just put stapler I got got my little fuse tool thing got my rulers this is all my adhesives got my glues and my glue guns y'all I worked hard organizing and I got my we are memory keepers got my little printer and got some extension cord in there so it's easy accessible i'm gonna just stick my uh, scoring board right over there so that's what i have there it just was just it's just so wonderful to have all that space it just held so much okay so over here you have seen this one before if you've watched any of my videos but i got this cabinet at hobby lobby absolutely love it love it love it love it you can see i've got it filled to the brim now i use my label maker to label these i did take off one of them and you'll see why i added some dies and stamps in there All right but i'm out of this tape so i have to get some more keep my inks up here and i won't go through all of these but you can just see i have it all organized and that's my print my uh computer so there is that got my big shot up here got my sweet little llama got flo's hat over here got these sweet signs that a sweet lady sent me got flo jr and over here um i still have my sign i love this and y'all this is the most special thing in this whole room to me my husband walked in here the other night and he was like, are you okay? And I was bawling. My mother made that and I found it in her stash. I just treasure it. It's just, she never got to finish it, but it's beautiful. Maybe I'll put lace on it and finish it for her. Sorry, y'all. Every time I look at it, I cry. <laughs> got my flamingos over here. And over here, I got my little, uh, my cinch machine. And then this one, I put wooden dowels, got zip ties. Sorry about that, y'all. This is just miscellaneous. Got my wooden stamps over here. These are all my Project Live cards. I was able to just put them in here. That way they don't get ruined. Washi, y'all, for days. I never realized I had this much washi. And I had, had it all in that drawer. Go figure it. Look at that. It filled up this drawer. Oh, my goodness. I need to use some washi. This is all my clear bags. I'm really overjoyed to be able to put that in a drawer. And got my vinyl. 
in these bottom three four drawers. So that's that. Oh my goodness, y'all. Over here in the corner, I got my wooden letters, got my mailing supplies. I have my memory X's from my challenge. I have to figure out where I want to put them. And some notebooks I've written on. Got my tripod over here. I still, oops, sorry about that, y'all. I still want to get one more of these. And I'm going to put it, I'll probably move this down just a little bit. And I'll put the white one here, another white one here. And it's going to house my ribbon. Because my ribbon is in the closet. So anyway, now I'm going to go over here. There, I still have my same sign up here. It says, this doesn't get much better than this. Got my clock from my sweet friend Karen that she gave me. I'm gonna open the closet. Don't be scared. Here we go. It's not too bad. I know where everything is. So here is my closet. I'm gonna back up. And you can see it's crazy in there. But I have all my fabric. I've got my toolbox. These are all paper supplies, my records. I keep all of my stamps on this shoe holder behind the door. And up there at the top is just things I've stored in containers. I know you're probably going, oh my goodness. But no, I would know where everything is. <laughs> so there is that. It takes a lot to show that, y'all. But this is real life. And there is my closet. So let's, let me just give you another once over around my room. So excited. This is beautiful. I just, it feels so wonderful to be able to see the floor. Look at that. And there's the window. Flow. Got my table. Love this wall, and I love the happy place sign. It's absolutely perfect. There's my table. Oh, and I ordered this pink mat on Amazon. It's an American Crafts brand, as you can see here. So I ordered that on Amazon. And there you go, y'all. This is my room. Now, for my purple wall, or pinkish purple, it's like so flamingo, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. I love it. It brightened it up. If I never put a piece of art on it, I wouldn't care. It's just so beautiful. If you just come in here and you just look, it just brightened up the room so much. And I will not put a hole in that wall until I exactly know what I want to put. And if I put something, it might be just a picture right over there by my table. That's it. I just really don't want um, it to be cluttered up. It's going to be, it's not going to be like arranged like I've done these. I really want to just leave it the way it is. It just became a centerpiece. It really, really did. So anyway, y'all, this is my craft room. I hope that you guys like this. Oh my goodness, If there are so many people that have written me saying I'm trying to redo my craft room, y'all. You can use things that you have. You don't have to spend too much money. Um, I did replace my desk, which I needed to do really bad, and it was so worth it, let me tell you. It was so worth it. I'm going to try to link a lot of the things I've showed you in the description box below if you're interested in any of this. But oh my goodness, y'all. Pretty excited. I really am pretty excited. So I hope this video wasn't too wiggly for you. I hope that you have enjoyed this. Thank you so much for following along during this, this redo journey of my craft room. I hope that you like it. And I am just overjoyed. And there you go. So y'all, here you go. This is my craft room. I'm going to go in there. I think I'm going to go in there and eat my tacos now. And um, yeah, I just wanted to get home and get this done. I wanted to film this for you so I could show you what my craft room looks like. It's absolutely amazing, stunning, wonderful, beautiful. 
and so inviting, let me just say, so inviting. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.